Yo, 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 what's up, y'all? My name is Ray Nail Royal. Welcome back to my channel, Fishing Trips. And we back for another vlog, y'all. And I got a good one. I got a good one today. Got a special vlog for y'all today, okay? Now, I know I say all my vlogs are special, but you know what? All my vlogs are special, right? That's like saying none of your kids. None of your kids are special. All your kids are special. All my vlogs are special. But I got a good one today. Check it. Today, I'm going to be surf fishing for the first time by my damn self. Let's do it. Let's do it. I'm ready. I'm ready. Now, check it out. Now, typically when you go surf fishing, you want to go like summertime, late summer. When the, you know, the water is warm. It's the middle of December, y'all. Mm. Yeah. When you go surf fishing, I think you want like 8 miles per hour or below wind. Wind's got some like 16 miles an hour now. We got rough seas. When you go surf fishing, you want to have fresh bait. Got no bait? No bait? Nope, nope. I don't know where no bait shops are at around this particular area. So I'm just gonna try to have to catch some bait and hopefully um, be able to fish. I mean, no bait, cold weather, very windy, first time surf fishing by myself. Recipe for disaster, but you know what? I think I can do it. I think I can do it. So what's the goal today? The goal today is one bull red or one shark. No God, please no, I do not want a shark. I know I said that, no sharks. Just one. Just give me one and I'll be happy. I think I can do it. Thank we on y'all. That was a bite. Definitely a bite. There we go. Fish on, baby. Enjoy the vlog. Lay out! All right, y'all, so let me tell you my plan. Let's talk gear, okay? First, I got about some two foot steel leader um, where I can put a weight and two hooks. My hooks are gonna be my circle hook, size seven, circle. I'm going for something big, something big, okay? So, okay? From there, I have a eight ounce spider weight as well so I can plot down. So that's it, man. Two foot steel leader, double hook set up. Seven, size seven hooks, eight ounce spider weight. Okay, here's a problem though. I don't have any bait. So what I'm gonna try is these fist bites. Yeah, try the fist bites. Cut up some small pieces, pieces of fist bites on these size circle hooks on one of my smaller rods on a you know, little bitty double steel leader. Now, when I say this is my first time solo fishing, I'm not playing y'all, so check it. Here's my surf rod that I've never used before. This is a Pin Fierce 8000 series, okay? When I'm telling you it's new, still got the price tag on it. You wanna see how much I paid for it? $109.99 for this rod. It came with a seven foot pole, right? Seven foot pole, thank you beauty. But I was advised that I need something larger than seven foot. So what I did was, you know, I went ahead and added some additional equipment Excuse me, and I got a nine foot ugly stick, two piece combo. So I'm gonna put my nine foot ugly stick onto this 8000 series pin reel and rod. And yeah, I'm gonna see, look, check this out. Now I have some PVC pipe, right? Now I asked people before like, yo, how do you make these rod holders? Everybody told me to go to Home Depot. I got agitated and said, ain't nobody got time for that. So I just bought one, okay? I bought a rod holder, all right? This is about a four foot, or sorry, 36 and a half inch rod holder. I mean, it gets the job done. It cost me $7.49. Don't judge me. But somebody also suggested, dude, just back your truck up, put your rod in. Is that right? So yeah, that's what we're gonna try out. I might get a little closer to shore, might not, because knowing my luck, tire's gonna come in, truck's gonna get stuck. I'm not willing to sacrifice my truck for the blog. Not even for a million views. I'll die for the blog, but not for my truck, all right? All right, so that's the plan, y'all. So, let's get set, cut these fist bites up. I need to catch either a croaker, a whiting, or hopefully a ladyfish. I gotta catch some cut bait, or I'm not gonna be able to surf fish. All right, let's go. I can do it. I can do it, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Come on, y'all. Freaking the mouth. 
my pool. I saw a video on YouTube that if you suck through this pipe and blow upward, it's easy to go down. But ain't nobody got time for that. We just trying to catch a croaker. Okay. That should be good. Alright. So let's take our fist bites into the ocean. Make sure I do my stingray shuffle. Um, also, I do have my casting net, so if I can see some mullet, oh yeah, get us a nice mullet too, so once again, no bait, so if I don't catch any bait, this is going to be a very long day and a very long vlog. I told myself I'm not going home until I catch one bull red or one damn shark all right so right now i'm about ankle deep water so i'm trying to figure out where do these croaker and whatnot hang out i don't want to catch anything too big because once again this is six pound i'm sorry eight pound fluoro spider weight so we're just gonna go right past the first gut There we go. Let's walk our reel back. I'm not gonna lie, I don't even think I got enough line to get back to my damn. Oh no. Oh no. <sighs> why don't you have enough line? Okay, I remember why I have enough line on this because what happened was the line was so light. It kept falling off the spool. Look at that. I can't make it back to my rod. Oh my God. All right, y'all. So I switched up my little setup here. Once again, spider weight, fish bites. But once again, medium action rod on eight pound fluoro. It's not a good idea. So I switched it to my bait cast reel that has 30 pound braid. Um, yeah, so let's try that instead and see what happens. Take two, take two. Don't judge me, don't judge me. This is my first time, first time surf fishing solo. We gotta learn, we gotta learn. All right, let's start the stingray shuffle. Also, I'm looking for any signs of mullet. I can hopefully come back with my cast net and try as well. Hopefully I got enough line. Why do none of my rods have enough line on it? I don't get that, man. That's so bomb. So still continuing to go out. Don't see no signs of mullet. Let's try to go past the first gut a little bit. I don't want to go too deep. And try to work my way back. Oh no, don't tell me I don't have enough line again off this damn reel. Oh no, oh no, oh no, I'm not gonna make it. Okay, right now, note to self, make sure all your reels have proper lining before you go fishing. Come on, I'm not gonna make it. Oh no, look at that. Look at that. No more line. Oh my God. You gotta be kidding me right now, bro. All right, y'all. So, got my live well. Um, still waiting for my fist bite to look like I got a bite. Not sure. Right now, I think that's the way. So, what I'm gonna do is go ahead and use my cast net here. Um, and see if I can catch some mullet or small bait fish. Once again, I have no bait. This was not supposed to be a challenge video, but here I am. Oh yeah, did I mention I'm not the greatest um, cast net thrower? 
Even more fun. Even more fun. All right. Get here. There. Wait a minute. My right hand or left hand? Right hand. Look, look. There's some birds right there. The birds are diving really shallow right now. To me, that must mean there's some bait right there. Look how shallow they are. They're not even going that deep. So I'm going to try to hurry up where them birds are diving and either catch whatever they're trying to eat or if I can catch one of those birds, I'm going to use it for cut bait. Here we go. Here we go. No, no. Where you going? Where you going? So I checked the fish bites, nada. Tried to do some cast with my cast net, finito, nada. So I'm um, gonna keep trying. Like I said, I've been fishing it for about 30 minutes for some cut bait, live bait, anything baitish, and see what I can do. Uh, really windy, We've got cloud cover coming in, the sun is going away, it's getting cooler, so, I really don't want to have to drive miles away to a bait shop just to get some bait. I'm going to catch my own bait. I'm not going to catch my own bait. What's up, man? Doing good? Nah, I've been trying to catch some bait. No luck. All right, so update. Um, I was pretty much bringing all my stuff in to try to figure out where I can try to go find some bait. And um, this guy just pulls up to me, he's like, hey, how you doing? I'm like, terrible, man, I can't find any bait. I'm like, oh, yeah, how you doing? He's like, nothing, man. He's like, nothing's biting. Um, he's actually using a drone, and he's taking his bait out like half a mile. And he says, There's nothing's hitting me, you know what I'm saying? And he's been trying everything. And you know, I asked him like, how long has he been out? You know, what time did he come out this morning? He's like, three. I'm like, oh, 3 a.m.? He's like, no, I've been out here for three days. I'm like, three days? What? So, um, yeah, he, he's a local, and um, apparently he knows where I can get some bait at close that's still open, at least some, you know, frozen shrimp, and um, we're gonna try to regroup. So, yeah, I went from fishing on the surf to now I'm just following some random person um, in this city that I'm not familiar with, and apparently he's gonna show me where to get some bait at. Just never know what's gonna happen on this vlog, do you? Do you? All right, y'all, so, um, yeah, I'm gonna try to see if we can get some bait and, you know, um, regroup and see if I can still get something in this damn water. Um, like I say, he says that nothing's been biting. It's just that time of season, so I'm gonna have to get extremely lucky, but I'm gonna keep trying, I'm gonna keep trying. All right, y'all, let me hurry up before you leave me. Let's go, let's go! Hey, how you doing? Oh. oh, right there. Yeah, I'm gonna go down there and try it with you. Buddy of mine, I told him, he's like, uh -huh. just holler me when you pass by, I'll pull out right behind you. Like, All right. <laughs> you got bait? Okay. Try this pick up? Yeah, okay. Oh yeah, so we got some frozen shrimp here. Nice. It'll take forever to get this unfrozen. Yeah, it's called fishing trips. Fishing tips, okay, okay. yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep, fish and trips. That's it? Yeah, I will take it. <laughs> okay. I like to, because I like the fishing and all, I always fish. Yeah. yeah. Right. I always watch the fishing as people well, the fish and all. Okay. Yeah. Appreciate yeah. it, man. Nice to meet you. Yeah, What's your name? Freddie. Freddie right now. Nice yeah, to meet you. Mm -hmm. All right, y'all. So, 
saw my GoPro camera asked me what I was doing. I told him I had a YouTube channel, so onwards. Now, the guy I just met, um, he's headed off to something Galveston something. And he's invited me to go there, but apparently it's supposed to be a good spot. So we might have to relocate and see what's going on. I'm down. All right, so I got my supplies, some frozen shrimp i don't know and um yeah and once again the guy that i met on the beach uh, on the surf who told me where the spot was at to get some bait he's going to another place galveston something i don't know he invited me to come he says he has a friend and saying apparently i'm just biting over there so somewhere i don't know in galveston by rollover i don't know so i'm gonna see if i can find it and once again remember the vlog started with me surf fishing and all of a sudden i met some random stranger who invited me to go fishing somewhere else and just get the spot and sure why not why not you know not having any other luck anyway so let's see what the day brings you know let's go follow strangers and go fishing i mean come on we do it for the vlog let's see what happens i don't know what's gonna happen i mean aren't you curious keep watching let's see You know, I just thought about something. Check it. Now, you know, in all those horror movies, especially like, you know, the ones where Americans are like in a foreign country and they get invited by some, you know, locals from that country to go check out some kind of cool spot people don't know about. And the Americans just go like some dumbasses. And that's thing you know, they're in the middle of some kind of, you know, crazy hotel getting tortured or being chased by some pyramid people. I'm just realizing here I am minding my business, got invited by a local to go check out this secret spot, and I have no clue who this guy is. I'm literally doing what I call the dumb people in movies are doing by following somebody I don't know to a secret spot because apparently there's like this great fishing. I can't believe it. Now, you would think, like you say like, oh, that would never happen to me. I would never do something that dumb. Here I am, here I am, look at me, look at me, look at me. Yep, yep, yes you would, yes you would. You, you would, you just don't realize it. You, you, you don't judge someone until you, you know you're in that situation, okay? That's all I'm saying. All right y'all, so um, I'm continuing my journey to, to nowhere. I don't know where I'm going, but I'm going. I'm not too late to turn around, but okay, I'm in too deep. I don't got no fish for this loss, I need some views. So maybe me getting chased and possibly tortured. Million views, I'll do it for a million views. Let's go, let's go. Y'all, here is the spot. I'm not sure exactly where. I know the tide is super low. Um, that guy is saying he had to go stop by his house to go pick up some rods. So I'm not sure exactly where the spot that we're supposed to be fishing at. Super sketch, super promising. Off the beaten path, so we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Thank we on, y'all. That was a bite, definitely a bite. There we go. Fish on, baby. Fish on, baby. There we go. Come on, y'all. What is that? What is that? Cross my other line. Oh, wait. We got We got we on, Steven. Oh, there we go. What is that? There we go. I think that's a big ugly, y'all. Oh, that's a big drum. That is a big, yeah. It's a big ugly. There we go. Whoa. Take the net from you, care. <laughs> nice. Uh -huh, that's a big drum. I got you. Be careful. There you go. I got you. Appreciate it. Can you hold the rock? Yes, you can. Thank you. All right, y'all. We got us a big ugly. Try not to kill myself. Come on, kid. Let's go. Woo! Let's go. Oh man. <laughs> oh. 
I told you, didn't I? Jesus Christ, you did. <laughs> Whew. Thank you, Stevie, man. I've been stuck on that beast still nothing. <laughs> it was worth it. Oh, my God. I told you. I live down here. I know, I know where to go. Oh, Jesus Christ. That's 25, 30 pounds. Oh my God. I never caught a drone that big before. It's PB. Oh, no shit. Yeah, this is PB. <laughs> Appreciate it, sir. You just sit it down. I get her. All right. No problem. Y'all. Look at this fish. At least somebody caught him, man. Look at this fish, y'all. That is a beautiful fish. Can't believe it. It's a peepee. Check a rod. Whoa, how'd you end up way over there? Gotta get off the rocks. Get off the rocks, get off the rocks. Oh, wait a minute. I think I'm on, y'all. I think I'm on, y'all. Is that a bird? Don't do that. Come on, let's go. Get off the rocks. Get off the rocks. No, get off the rocks. No. Come on, let's go, baby. Get that family, y'all. No, 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 no. No, come on. No. No. I'm by myself. Get off the rocks. What the hell is that? What is that? Oh my god, it's a great sheep head. Oh, come on. No. Okay. Okay. We good, baby. Okay, I'm gonna get it. All right, y'all. Okay, not breaking my neck trying to get this fish. No. Keep the pressure on. Okay. Calm down right now. Okay, my neck. What is that? That's a grip. Oh, it's a sheep. Come on, baby. No. Come on. Okay. Okay. Hold on. Hold on, y'all. We got it right there. Gotta switch your arms. Yeah. Come on. Come on, get in the net. Get in the net, you bastard. Get in the net. Get in the net. Oh no. 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 There's one hook out. Oh no. Oh no. No. Get in the net. Get in the net. Come on. You might have a foul hook. I'm not sure. It's off the hook. It's off the hook. Okay. Okay. Oh no, my neck's stuck in a rock. Okay. My neck's stuck in a rock. Okay, it's off the hook now. And yeah, my neck is stuck in a damn rock. You gotta be kidding me right now. Okay. Alright. How are we gonna get this? No. Hold on, y'all. Let me get my tongue. Alright. It came off the hook. I doesn't know that it's not hooked. And I'm stuck on a damn block. You gotta be kidding me right now. Okay. I'm gonna have to try to do this. I'm gonna have to try to finesse. That is a sheep head. A beautiful sheep head. Alright. That is lunch. Alright. Alright, baby. Alright, y'all. Don't you jump. Don't you jump, you bastard. Don't you jump. Don't you jump. No, wait. Wait. Don't you jump. Don't you jump. Don't you jump. Don't you jump. Let's go, baby. Get on him. Get him. Get him back on the shoulder. Get him. Let's go, baby. Let's go, baby. Oh my God. Look at that, y'all. That's a beautiful sheep, man. Holy crap. So slippery over here. We gotta get our net. Oh my God. Yes. Did not know. On there. Did not even know. Look at that. Look at that fish. Holy crap. Look at that fish. Look at that fish. Beautiful. Is that a sheep head? 
or drowned. I can't tell y'all. Oh my God. Is that a sheep hit or a drum? Oh, oh. Can't believe I got stuck in the damn rock. Oh my. Hold on, wait. I'm so tired. We got it, y'all. Look at this beautiful fish. Oh my God. Is that a sheep head or a drum? I think this is a beautiful sheep head. It's dinner. It's dinner. We did it. We did it, y'all. I know the goal today was a red or a shark. But we got a PB, big ugly. Beautiful sheep head. I'm so happy. Like I said, sometimes the vlogs don't end like you think they will. Let's put it in the bag, see what we can do. Oh my God, beautiful fish. Oh man, it's a beautiful fish. Woo, there you have it, y'all. All right, look, I know I said the goal today was a bull red or a shark, but sometimes, like I said before, sometimes life just doesn't you know, work out as planned. So if you come across any kind of obstacles, sometimes, you know, you just gotta take a leap of faith and just follow perfect strangers to fishing spots and hope they don't kill you. So yeah, man, shout out to Mr. Steven. Um, thank you for bringing me out here. You saved the vlog, Mr. Steven. You saved the vlog today. Um, you didn't ask me anything about my YouTube channel, but if you come across this, I just wanna say thank you again. And yeah, y'all, that's it. So um, on my way back home, I'm happy. I enjoyed the vlog. Hope you did. 100 likes. 100 likes for my new PB Big Ugly. PB Big Ugly. Give me 100. No, wait, no. 100 likes for Mr. Steven. 100 likes for generosity and kindness for a perfect stranger showing a man he doesn't even know one of his spots. All right. 100 likes for Mr. Steven. Let's do it for him. Okay. Um, if you like the vlog, make sure you subscribe. You know what I'm saying? Make sure you subscribe. I bring you, you know, vlogs every week. But if you're not ready to subscribe, it's okay. It's all good. It's all good. I'll get you on the next one.